and that this right here is a bally tomato i've been i've had those seeds since 2014 as a matter of fact oops i thought i had one tie oh i left it on the table i want to make sure i get that tied up actually I can rob the tie from this one, seeing how it's dead. I need to rip it out. Let's just go ahead. I did get a lot of wind damage, and so consequently, I have some stuff broken. I mean, it just happens. In the weight of these tomatoes, they fall. And it just happens, but at least I got that one put back up in case it storms later. Here's another one that sustained wind damage, so I'm going to rob this tie from that dead one. Prop this up. I'm going to go ahead, sorry, pull them both up. And I've got a killer headache today. Didn't sleep good last night. I think it's the weather changing. It goes from super hot to cool to super hot. Back down to cool. It's allergy time. And it just really kicks me hard. There we go. Got that one put up. Just going ahead and collect in some before all this rain comes. So once that rain comes, the tomatoes will split. And that's no fun. I'm excited about those. Let's see if I got any. Ready to. Not yet. So we were kind of behind on mowing, had to order a part for the tractor. Oh, heck yeah, look at this. Now, I'm going to try and find me some bigger bags. And see, this is what happens when it rains. They split. So I hate to waste food when I've waited four years for tomatoes. So this little bad boy is going to go in the window to ripen. Then I can just cut the split off, so that way the tomato's not wasted. But I had to cut a bag open because on these bigger beef steaks, they outgrow that bag. <laughs> and you cannot get them back out, so you have to cut the bag. I want to make sure that I get... Wow, I'm just getting some good... And it's got a split in it too, but you know what? I can cut it and use it for pasta. I wanted to show y'all. I guess I covered it up. I brought my extra bags back out after collecting the seeds. Bring the bags back out. This last time I ordered the bags, a bunch of them weren't any good. A little disappointing. Especially when you need a several thousand. Oh, look at that bowling pin tomato. And it split too. But I can cut the good part off and still eat them. And I tell you what, guys, I'm a girl that loves tomatoes. I just absolutely love tomatoes. Okay, so this is neat. I'll show you the tag. This is the Conagen de Fruin. It is a rough wood. And I really love the flavor of this tomato. It's crazy shaped, but the taste is impeccable. Oh my goodness, is it ever so delicious. Has the little cat facing, but that's all right. I don't mind that. Definitely gonna save some more seeds for that one. Go ahead and pull that off. Ugh. 
Those are tight on there. I should have brought a bigger basket. Actually, I only come out here for the ones that were bagged and then I was going to go ahead and tag them and get them inside and get the seeds harvested and saved. Let's just go ahead and take this one. But I got sidetracked. I went ahead and picked a bunch of elderberries since it's going to be possibly storming. We only had like a 10% chance this morning and then supposedly after four there was a 20% chance. There was thunder in earlier. So I had to just set aside the headache and just get on out here. Get this one. Oh no, did I just break that? Ugh. Hope I didn't just break that tomato plant. I didn't bring my little bag with the shears. Dang it. I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I did that. I think we're still good. I think it was, if I would have pulled any more, I would have broke it. Oh, I did. <sighs> Great. Look at that pretty tomato. The flavor is really, really good. I really, really like the flavor. I would even make some sauce with that tomato because the flavor is so good. I'm going to have to go get another basket. That Roma is looking pretty sad. I can hear some thundering in the distance. Oh. I got a really bad headache today. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get a bigger basket. So much for my plans. But the blessing is these beautiful Roma tomatoes. Roma has always been a favorite. But once I started growing a lot of the really rare heirlooms, my love just surely changed quick. Alright, bear with me guys. I'm running out of room in this basket. Oh, I hear thunder. Oop, hear it? Oh, man. That one looks like it's split, too. Grandma Oliver's Green. Actually, that has a really good flavor. I ate one of those for breakfast this morning. Very, very good flavor. Okay. So, that's Tessa's land race current. Some of these have split, and I'll live with it. Cut the split off and use the tomato. Darn it. I think I'm gonna just dump these tomatoes right here. 